guys, welcome back to Alice. Oh, more slides. I guess yeah. we're getting deeper and we're getting closer to the end. Shouldn't be too long now. For God's sake. Shouldn't be long until we get to the end. I think we're rather close. Take the right path. Which way are you turning? Alright. Slow, 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 slow. Far enough away, sorry. Babies. I got most of my health back. I'm gonna complain. Mm, pardon me. Um. Nice. Are you? I hope this isn't gonna be. Annoying. Here, I guess. Towards the memory. No, I actually hit the fucking thing. We get more of the story. I had a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. 
Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. Chapter 5. Mr. Bumby doing some unspeakable things to Lizzie. My father would wish that you hold your tears, girls. He lived a long life, and as the poet says, like a clock worn out with eating time, the wheels of weary life at last stood still. Yeah, just for the sake of it. And there's the infernal train. So I think this might be the last bit, to be honest with you. Very, very, very close to the last bit. I should say. Hello, prick. Get fucked up. die straight away down there. On some levels they do. Look how creepy that is. Children all on a line. We made installs. Toy. He wanted me to do things I didn't want to do. Get off the scenery. The, uh, oh, Alice. <sighs> Controls as well as fucking uh, Laura Croft sometimes. Where are you going? What was that? Right, stop. Slow. Good girl, Alice. Am I not the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools? Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there, almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead. And you should be too. You misbegotten. 
utter abomination. Murderer, you blood-sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family. My mind. The infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engineer. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be. Your lust, and where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there. Get into the. <sighs> this is what I mean. If you remember back to the first episode, this is what I mean about the dark story. Like, just children as prostitutes. It's basically what they're doing. The sick, sick mind of Dr. Bumby. It's all these numbers. It's like I said. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this series. I don't think a game has ever tackled a story like this. I, I can't think of one anyway. Front Dr. Bumby. You oozing saw of depravity! Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock! A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Train. So, this possibly could be. Hold on, give me a second. 13. Could be the last episode. 13. Um. 17. Okay, sorry, I'm just uh, seeing about time. Hatter, I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. <laughs> Never time for tea. <laughs> While your brain's on holiday, we are ruined. Now we're all mad here, and that's a good excuse for going to hell in a teapot, but not for forgetting what your senses saw. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, but 
punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harmed pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. So I think basically what I was saying is she she saw what was going on. You but... corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. <laughs> I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad. Like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease. Pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted, in the end. My Lizzie! What is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centers in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! This, I believe, is now the final bit. Through these doors. <sighs> Try to remember the fight. I can't remember what's involved. Hands, I think. Expect me to die many, many times. The past must be paid for. Shit. 
away from fire. Focus on the fucking hand. Ah. Need the health. Significant. The cost of forgetting is high. Ooh, health, health, health. Going off. Where are you going? Where are you going, Alice? To stop them. dead, 
so. <sighs> this might not go. Oh shit. See you charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. Push him off. <laughs> Go on, Alice. Real Wonderland has turned into reality. She's now quite mad. Because either she's either in. Uh, I don't know if she's either in Wonderland or. Or? Or now, sort of, reality and Wonderland have merged into one. The cat's going to appear in a minute. Now, listen to what he says, because it sounds like there was supposed to be another game after this. Just, I could be wrong, but it's what I interpreted, interpreted uh, five years ago. Ah, uh, Alice. We can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions, too, die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient, remembering it agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now. And there we go. That was Alice Madness Returns. Um, still a good game. Like, five years on, it, it's still very, very good. Like, 
thoroughly enjoyed myself playing this again. Brought back a lot of memories. Um, yeah, if can't really fault it. Um, and the combat can be a bit finicky at times, like as well as platforming. It can be sometimes off, and you hit the edge of you know, like you'll hit the edge of 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 a platform, at just the tiniest amount, and you can't get over it. That's kind of annoying. Um, some of the levels could have been a bit shorter, like I mean, like I said in the dollhouse. Um, some of the levels are they do drag on a bit too long. So if they were a bit shorter. Then it would be perfect. <laughs> but this, but yeah, senior creative director, American McGee. But this is again a fantastic game. I just need. <sighs> Ugh, fucking hell. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, I had fun playing this again. Uh, and I hope you had fun too. <laughs> Watching, streaming at the screen, because <laughs> I couldn't do something. Or I forgot to go at work to, bleh, or I forgot where to go. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it here now. So thank you so much for watching this series. I don't know what's coming up next. I haven't chosen yet, so yeah. Anyway, I shall catch all of you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. As ever. Bye bye.